Hey, it's me, Boo. And I'm back for the um, another one out of the House of Kerosene, and this is called Woodhaven. And this is one um, of his, I, it's probably one of my favorites of his. Um, my absolute favorite is Fields of Rubus. I like Copper Skies, and I like Santalum Sliver. Um, creature is okay. Rude, I need to kind of explore some more, but it's not my favorite Oud. Um, and so my top is definitely Fields of Rubus. That one also has the best performance of all of his fragrances that I have found on me, um, including Woodhaven. Woodhaven is a really nice um, kind of a dry wood. Um, there's there's like some citruses or something in the top, and I almost get some ginger or yeah, there's like some ginger in there too. So I've only tried this like three or four times. And it's funny because each time I've smelled it, I get something a little different, which I find very interesting with this. And I love fragrances that do that. And this is very masculine, in my opinion. It is not one that I would rock, but I would, I'm would. i definitely going to put this on my husband's um, shelf and see what it smells like on him. I do wish there was just a slight sweetness to it. Um, some resin or or some tolu balsam or or amber or something in there to make it slightly sweet in the dry down I think would have made it nicer but it's it's a nice fragrance um, again my issue with a lot of the kerosenes except for fields of rubus is that they become quite the skin scent they last okay um, pull in really close to the body for me and I've tried it on very moisturized skin right out of the shower dry skin um, I've tried it on my husband and it's the same thing um, that they all come really close to the body except for fields of rubus and this one almost has a spicy note to it when it dries down like there's some pepper or something in there too so I'll just tell you what's in it I think this is going to appeal to a lot of guys. I think guys are going to really love this because there's no ambiguity here. This is no chick perfume, and that's for dim sure. Uh, bergamot and grapefruit, lemon and black pepper, hey, and pink peppercorns, juniper leaf and ginger root, vetiver, cedar, and guyac. So it doesn't say top notes, bottom notes, or anything like that. It just kind of uh, says them all. And you get all that bergamot tangy grapefruit, lemon, black pepper, pink peppercorns. You do get that. I, I don't know what juniper leaf smells like. I, I don't get any juniper berry out of this. I do get the ginger root, um, slight amount of vetiver, and definitely the woods. So it's a nice fragrance. It's not anywhere close to my favorites out of his, but I think it's a very respectable fragrance that I think men uh, would be able to rock this at work and daytime no problem uh, it's not appealing enough I don't think um, to be wearing at night you know unique enough uh, outstanding enough um, um, performance is not good enough to be wearing at night um, even close corner quarters uh, fireside kind of work I don't see that this this would be a huge appeal to most women. Um, I think that this is more of a, a scent a guy would wear just for himself because he enjoys it. So that's just my opinion. So anyway, um, see if anybody says it smells similar to anything. They say it smells similar to Sushi by Demeter. I don't know about that. And it was just one person so I, somehow I doubt that because usually Demeter it's pretty true to what they say the fragrance is about. So if it says it says it's not like Sushi Imperial by Boy Boys 1920, where it has nothing to do with raw fish, or is that sashimi? Anyway, um, uh, sushi. If Demeter says it, it means it's supposed to smell like sushi. This doesn't smell anything like sushi. This is a very woody, 
nice soft kind of a fragrance so anyway that's uh, Woodhaven by Kerosene and I hope you all have a good day all right